Hi there, and welcome to this video where I'll be testing if the ADX SMA's strategy is good for cryptocurrency bot trading. This video is part of a series where I'll be searching for the best trading strategy for cryptocurrency trading with the help of a trading bot. In each video I'm going to test the strategy that is explained in a YouTube video, trading site or is publicly available for use. Each time the strategy will be tested on this probability to make money by backtesting on multiple digital asset pairs over their largest possible backtest period. The result of this test is then compared with the results of earlier tested strategies. I will also try to explain how the strategy's code works for use with the FragTrade bot for automatic trading. If you like these videos and you want to see more of that similar content, then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get notified of my newest content, then click on the bell icon. This way you show me that you appreciate my efforts and motivate me to make more of these videos. Now please remember that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Everything you see here is hypothetical and based on historic data, so there's no guarantee the investigated strategy will work in the future. I'm also not a professional, so always do your own research or consult a real professional before using any information in real trading. As said, in this video I'm going to test the ADX SMA strategy. This strategy was originally created by Gerd Wolgemuth, otherwise known as Berlin Guy in CA. This strategy is also part of a GitHub repository that is available through the FragTrade site. If you navigate via the FragTrade site to its repository, then click on the main GitHub page. You will see a repo that is called FragTrade Strategies. Click on this. Then click again on User Data, then Strategies, and finally on Berlin Guy in CA. And at the top you will see the third file that will be tested in this video. If we click on that file, we can see the contents. And let's find out what this strategy does. The ROI setting for the strategy is 0.1 which means that the bot will take profit when at some point there is a 10% profit. The bot will sell its position when there is a loss of 25%, which is indicated with the stop loss setting. The original time frame for this strategy is the 1 hour time frame, and we will find out later if this is really the case. Then there are 3 indicators used over here. The ADX with the default time period of 14, and two simple moving averages, one with a time period of 3 and one with 6, which are pretty quick I might add. Now the buy and sell settings of this strategy are pretty simple as well. The bot buys when the ADX is above 25 and only when there is a crossover of the short SMA above the longer SMA. And the bot has a sell signal when the ADX is below 25 again and only when the longer SMA crosses above the short SMA, or in other words, if the short SMA gets below the long SMA. If we show this on the chart, then you can see how the strategy looks. So, only buy when the short SMA gets above the long SMA, and only when the ADX momentum is above 25. So actually, the ADX XSA confirmation indicator for enough momentum. And selling is exactly the reverse. And as I said earlier, the strategy takes profit when its ROI reaches 10% profit, and the stop loss will be activated if the price loses 25%. To use the strategy in your own FragTrade environment, just download it into your strategies folder with the help of the wget command. And I show you how you do this over here. Now let's see if this strategy really works best on the 1 hour time frame, or if it performs better on other time frames. It appears that the one day time frame produces better results than the original one hour time frame that the strategy originally was intended for. Strangely enough, I could not get any results for the 15 minute time frame. But as it appears, it looks like that the results probably would not be better than the 1 day time frame. I like the win rate of the 1 day time frame with its 67%, but the profit is only 104% and that is a little bit low I think. 
My first hunch for the reason for this is that the take profit percentage of only 10% is a little bit too low. And then waiting for another trading opportunity is too low to take advantage of a bullish move. So this way the strategy is not riding the trend but takes profit a little bit too quickly in my opinion. Now the original strategy did not have any options to optimize the parameters except for the default ROI and stop loss settings. So I created a hyperopt file that tries to find the optimal setting for the line that the ADX indicator has to cross to get a bullish signal. So this time I'm going to find out if the momentum level, ROI and stop loss can be tweaked to make this strategy perform better than the original settings. And I think that changing the ADX line and especially the ROI settings could make a lot of difference for the strategy. So if you look at the code, I have added a hyperopt space for the ADX line to cross for the ADX indicator over here. And you should also change this in the buy and sell parameter settings of the configuration file to make everything work. I will leave this file on my blog so that you can use it also. And you can find the link to that file in the description of the video. So let's start the hyperopt session and backtest the results to see if the original strategy can get better. As I already predicted, a change in the settings of the ROI and ADX level made a huge difference between the original strategy and the hyperopted one. The original strategy was indeed too tight and therefore took profits too fast. It also had much more trades, almost double, and there were also more winning trades, so therefore the win rate was also higher. Beware also that the original strategy has a lower risk of ruin, but that is also because the average risk per trade is quite low. And if we compare the chart of Bitcoin and the points where both versions of the strategy entered and exited the market, you can also see that the original strategy has more entries that also were profitable because of the quick profit taking. The hyper opted strategy did not have many trades, but the average profit per trade is much higher because of the higher ROI settings. And actually there is not much more to say than that. A pretty simple strategy that makes use of the ADX trend strength indicator with the two SMAs to determine which direction this trend has. But before I continue with the strategy leak, first take a look at this sheet. In this overview I have written down the setup for these tests and also the method to try to find the best strategy. This is the way I do these back tests to find the strategy that has the highest probability to make profits with the trading bot. And you can always use this as an inspiration to develop your own trading methodology for testing and comparing trading strategies with each other. I always strongly recommend that you do your own research after watching my video. Develop your own way of testing and get confidence in your methodology. So with this said, let's see how this ADX SMA strategy performs in comparison with my earlier tests. And this strategy enters the total strategy league in the 16th position. It is a very moderate and simple to follow strategy and also has a nice profit compared with some of the other strategies on the bottom of this list. And as I said before, I really have nothing very special to say about this strategy, which I did not already have said. So therefore I will not waste any more time on the strategy. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and please click on the like button if you like this content and you want to see more of this in the future. Also, and you know the drill, please click on the bell icon if you want to get notified on my newest videos. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already so. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.